Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here. It's uh, at uh, market analysts uh, at uh, CFDs.com bringing you a review of the uh, US markets for the trading session the uh, 10th of May, Thursday, 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so US markets certainly surged yesterday. It gives um, They've certainly ignored the fact that Mr. Trump is going into uh, or leading to more chaos in the Middle East, etc., etc. I mean, the arguments are pretty strong there. I don't really need to keep elaborating on them, given the fact that he's pulled out the Iran deal is leading to uh, rising oil prices, which in turn hurt companies' profits in terms of higher costs and obviously uh, trigger inflation, which in turn obviously means higher rates. So uh, the cost of oil certainly increasing is, is, is considered cost push inflation okay and obviously the geopolitical uncertainty as well in the middle east regarding iran uh, regarding russia regarding israel uh, via syria now the attacks certainly seem to be increasing in syria at the moment and anything can certainly escalate so again that certainly is a cause of concern given the fact that they split the uh, uh, the actual world again with regards to the climate deal regards to obviously uh, china's trade war and now obviously this uh, escalation as well so Geopolitically, geopolitically, the world isn't looking good. And uh, from my perspective, one would not want to be holding equities at all. That's basically my interpretation thus far. But equities certainly uh, cease to amaze us all and certainly continue to push higher. OK, so um, in terms of the economic data yesterday, certainly was on the weaker side. Uh, if I just quickly go through the economic data that was released yesterday on the Wednesday, uh, quickly go through that with you. OK, so you had producer prices coming in on the weaker side, which again, obviously hurt the dollar okay that's one reason why the dollar certainly is pushing lower uh, inflation still failing to uh, certainly creep in there in terms of uh, ppi which indeed uh, which in turn obviously indicates uh, a weaker consumer from my perspective uh, again producer price index certainly is uh, is led by the consumer and that certainly is uh, uh, nowhere to be seen so again potential deflationary concerns there in the us and that's not uh, due to oil uh, oil it certainly will increase inflation but it basically reduces real wages and that certainly isn't a good indicator for potential economic growth, okay? Even with the tax cut, that certainly isn't triggering PPI higher. That certainly is a cause for concern, okay? Um, FOMC, Mr. Bostic, nothing really from that perspective. Let's just ignore that for now. Again, it certainly seems geopolitical concerns. Higher oil prices certainly hurting potential future growth. Okay, higher oil prices generally tend to hurt the Nasdaq the, the most because of reduction in disposal income. So, but yeah, Nasdaq certainly is pushing higher. So impressive short squeeze rally yesterday on the Nasdaq, as you can see here, with Apple certainly pushing higher as well. We've broken above that gap fill key resistance at uh, 6560. Uh, uh, six, uh, sorry, six five sixty six eight fifty. Okay, let's see how far we uh, push higher. Now the next potential resistance is seen here around six nine thirty three. We have pushed to as high as six nine ten uh, in the futures market at the moment. Can we continue? That's a question. Uh, my interpretation certainly not. Okay, given the privacy concerns, given the uh, also Mr. Uh, Mr. Zuckerberg certainly was fined yesterday as well for again illegally obtaining information and data, etc., etc. So. Uh, privacy, data, laws, re increased regulation, potential fines on the way, etc., etc. Social media certainly seems to be in a spot of bother as well from that perspective. So we negate the Fib 61. We're between the Fib 61 and the Fib 75%. Let's see if uh, we can certainly hold up for now. In terms of the 60-minute uh, chart on the French, on the uh, for your NASDAQ, the next potential resistance is seen around the 6910, which we obviously are at. At, uh, at present, um, 6910 and then obviously 6933. You do have the unfilled gap if you continue to rally up back up at 7000, so we'll keep an eye out for that. In terms of uh, the uh, semiconductors, and uh, let's just bring them up for you as well, give you an insight. Uh, Biotech still bouncing on the daily chart, okay, so still bouncing, uh, but we are coming into potential resistance given the gap fill resistance here, and you've got the 200 MA above. If you continue to rally, the next resistance is above and above here as well so again now biotech certainly into resistance in terms of semiconductors let's just see where they stand okay so semiconductors again into gap fill resistance so biotech semicons both into resistance therefore one would con conclude the nasdaq's into resistance and hence the reason why i've got my bearish bias on the nasdaq at the moment okay in terms of the dow let's bring up the dow let's see the uh, potential rally in the dow as well has been quite impressive from that pivot low at 23,500. We've rallied almost 200 pips. Uh, currently, the market's trading around the 25, 30, 
zone daily chart at the moment not in any resistance uh, the 60 minute chart you do have um, a key resistance zone here and here as well so watch out for that again you've got gap fill here uh, watch out there okay so these are all potential key zones uh, to watch out for potential resistance now let's just cross reference that with the Dow transports uh, the daily chart certainly pushing higher from that pivot low there uh, 60 minute chart let's just go to our 60 minute chart again if we continue to push high real resistance is seen around this region here and here on the on the Dow transportation index but it has been a an impressive thrust th thus far so you have to respect that for now in terms of the s p 500 now again another impressive rally there given the fact that we had that pivot lower on the 2600 the diagonal trend line is coming into play so watch out there uh, you do have an unfilled gap as well just uh, in this region here around the 2708 2707 we did hit a pivot high of around 2704 so again gap fill solid resistance diagonal trend line resistance as well certainly looking for a potential cap there on the daily chart on the end s p 500 60 minute chart clearly you can see it more clearly there with regards to that gap around the 2707 that's a good area to show uh, again another gap or resistance around 2715 so those two zones certainly solid resistance seen and expected as well so watch out for those two potential areas okay in terms of the market itself okay so watch out uh, from that perspective on the s p 10 minute chart on the s p 500 again looks it looks exhausted uh from my perspective uh, again you were finding resistance just above 2700 uh, you do have the unfilled gap left below so watch out there okay so uh, again this will be a potential target if the market certainly goes south okay previous resistance equals support around 2680 and then eventually gap fell at 2672 so again watch out for those levels on the uh, s p 500 so from my perspective certainly coming into a potential exhaustion zone okay on the uh, u.s markets at present oil prices again certainly pushing higher into that seven approaching that 72 dollar level but the 60 minute chart certainly seems to be exhausted uh, again, let's see if that can start to reverse. The Iranian concerns certainly remain in the background. Okay, industrials, technicals, healthcare, certainly bouncing. Energy certainly topping out, so watch out here. Given the fact that energy certainly has been the reason why the stock markets rallied, okay, uh, XLE certainly is topping out here, so watch out. Uh, a topping tail was certainly put in yesterday. It's been a one hell of a rally okay uh, and given the fact that that was the main reason why the markets rallied anyway okay watch out for a potential reversal there so again xle certainly topping out again indicating a potential top in the s p 500 given the fact that that's been the main catalyst for the rally thus far so again from my perspective certainly looking for weakness in the uh, in us markets looking for a reversal keep an eye out there okay on that note please be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates for leading providers at www.tradesignal.com uh, in terms of the rest of the day, uh, for US data, we've got jobless claims, uh, CPI. So again, that will be interesting to see where the dollar moves. Pull CPI data, watch out there. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com as well uh, and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.